Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on factorising quadratics. This is the third video on the topic, so if you've not watched the first two, then I highly suggest you watch those first because we go through some more basic examples as well as the skills that we're going to need in this video. So here we're looking at quadratics where a is greater than 1, and by this we mean the coefficient of x squared uh, when we generally write quadratics as ax squared plus bx plus c. So here a is greater than 1, and the example we're looking at is 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. So 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. So as usual, we're looking for two numbers which multiply together to give c when we have our double brackets. Uh, but there's several combinations in this case that we could try uh, because we also need to get a 4x squared when we multiply out the brackets. So we could either have 4x plus something times x minus something. We could have 4x minus something times x plus something or we could have 2x plus something times 2x minus something. So often when you have a is greater than 1, it just takes a bit of trial and error to work out which is the correct answer. So uh, the reason we've got a plus and a minus here is because our numbers have to ma uh, multiply to give minus 1. So it has to be a minus number, uh, so therefore it has to be a positive and a negative number inside the brackets. They also have to add together to give plus 3, uh, so we're looking for two numbers which do that. So uh, let's just try a diff few different combinations. As I say, we're looking for numbers which multiply to give minus 1, so the only numbers which will multiply to give minus 1 are 1 and 1. So we can put 1 and 1 in all of these brackets uh, because we know that that's the only combination that will give us minus 1. So uh, we'll just use the FOIL method here to expand out all these brackets and see which one gives us our quadratic. So I'll draw the arrows on this first one. Uh, so we've got 4x times x which gives us 4x squared. Then we have 4x times minus 1, which gives us minus 4x. Then we have 1 times x, which gives us plus x, and then 1 times minus 1, which as we've established gives us minus 1. So when we simplify this, we get 4x squared minus 3x minus 1. So all we've done is collect the like terms there. Uh, and as you can see, this is not equal to the quadratic we started with. Uh, so let's say that this is a wrong answer. So let's move on to the second one. We've got 4x minus 1 uh, times x plus 1. So I'm not going to draw the arrows out this time, but we're doing 4x times x first of all, which gives us 4x squared. Then we do 4x times plus 1, uh, which gives us plus 4x. Then we do minus 1 times x, which gives us minus x. And minus 1 times plus 1, which gives us minus 1. So if we collect like terms here, we get 4x squared plus 3x minus 1 and as you can see this is the same as our quadratic that we started with so the factorized form is 4x minus 1 times x plus 1 so we'll just get rid of those blue arrows to make that clear uh, but yeah so that's our correct answer let's just have a look at this last one to see what this would have given us so we're doing 2x times 2x which gives us our 4x squared and then we're doing 2x times minus 1 which gives us minus 2x then we're doing plus 1 times uh, times 2x sorry which gives us plus 2x now we're doing 1 times minus 1 which gives us minus 1 so when we collect like terms the 2x and the minus 2x will cancel so we get 4x squared minus 1 so this isn't our right answer so uh, as we established before the correct answer should be 4x minus 1 x plus 1 so let's look at this final example now where we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 now the first thing we should pick up on is that all the terms are positive, so our double brackets are going to be plus something uh, in each of the brackets. Uh, but we also need to get a plus 3 on the end and a uh, 2x squared term at the beginning. So the two combinations that we can try out to try and get this quadratic are going to be 2x uh, plus 3 and x plus 1 or 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. So these are our two possible options that we need to try out to see which one gives us this quadratic. Now the reason we're using 3 and 1 here is because they're the only factors of 3 uh, and then also we need a 2x squared uh, in the quadratic here so one of our terms is going to have to be 2x inside the brackets. So we're just going to have to expand this out and see which one gives us the quadratic above and for that we're going to use the FOIL method. So first uh, is going to give us 2x squared. Outside terms are 2x and 1 so that gives us plus 2x. Inner is 3 times x, so that gives us plus 3x. And last is 3 times 1, 
which gives us plus 3. So when we collect like terms, we get 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Uh, so that's not good enough uh, because we need to get 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So let's mark that as a wrong answer. So now let's move on to the second option. So 2x times x first of all is going to give us 2x squared. 2x times plus 3 is going to give us plus 6x. And then 1 times x gives us plus x. And 1 times 3 gives us plus 3. So when we collect like terms, we get 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, which we, if we compare that to our quadratic that we had at the start, uh, this is the same. So this is our correct answer. Whoops, that was meant to be a tick. This is our correct answer. Uh, so that's all we need to do uh, with this quadratic. So if you're feeling confident with factorising quadratics, then why not get some practice with our online exam? This is available through our revision platform, and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. Uh, and there's a variety of different question types as well. Uh, so all of them you'll get instant feedback on and you'll be able to work out where you're going wrong and find out how you can improve uh, in order to be prepared for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.